Okay, this is quite a common uh, pre-university or uh, higher A-level uh, complex number question. What they're asking is, uh, for what positive integers n is this expression here, n z to the n, 1 plus root 3 i over i z conjugate squared, imaginary, uh, when we get are given that z equals minus root 3 at i. Now, in actual fact, these types of questions are quite easy to, uh, to answer. Because all we need to do is look at the arguments, and then we form an equation in the arguments of each of the complex numbers and solve it. Um, now, let's just have a look um, at what they mean by imaginary. So what they are actually saying is, when does this expression here, when does that expression, um, when we evaluate it, when does it appear on the imaginary line? I.e., when is the argument of the expression, pi over 2, or 3 pi over 2, or 5 pi over 2, or basically 2k plus 1 pi over 2. So we know that we want the argument of the expression to come to 2k plus 1 pi over 2. Now all we need to do is look at the um, arguments of each of the constituents of this. So if we know that z equals minus root 3 add i, which in, polar, in exponential form is... Um, 2e to the 5 pi i over 6. So z to the n in exponential form is 2 to the n, and we actually don't need the modulus, but anyway, I'll put it in. e to the 5 pi n i over 6. Um, and looking at 1 plus root 3 i, again, these, these are well-known complex numbers, and it should be fairly easy to, to be converting them to exponential form. Uh, 1 plus root 3 i is uh, 2e to the pi i over 3. Uh, and then we got i, of course, which is, let's just draw a line here, i is the well-known uh, e to the i pi over 2. And we have um, the last one, z conjugate. Uh, well, if z is, we've already worked z out, which is 2e to the 5 pi i over 6, then z conjugate is 2e to the minus 5 pi i over 6. So z conjugate squared is 4e to the minus 10 pi i over 6. Now, all we have to do now is literally compare the, the arguments, knowing that when we multiply complex numbers, i.e. z to the n times 1 plus root 3i, we add the arguments. So we add these arguments. And when we divide by complex numbers, i.e. we're drawing up, divided by i and we're divided by z conjugate squared, we subtract the arguments. So all we, let's just have a look at the, uh, the equation. So z to the n, all we're looking at now is the argument. So this is a, uh, an equation in the arguments, and we know that we want the arguments to be 2k plus 1 times pi over 2 in order for the solution to be uh, entirely imaginary. So we know that the argument of z to the n is 5 pi n over 6. So we've got 5 pi n over 6. Um, and we know that the argument of 1 plus root 3i, where is it, here, is pi over 3, add pi over 3. Now we're taking away the two arguments on the bottom because uh, we are dividing. So we know that the argument of i is pi over 2. Uh, and we know that the argument of z conjugate squared is minus 10 pi over 6. OK, so we have now uh, an equation just in the arguments, and that's all we're looking at. And all we have to do now is just solve that equation. And hey, hey presto, we have our answer. So let's just uh, clear this up. We have 5 pi n over 6. Let's put everything over 6, make it a little bit easier. Add 2 pi over 6 minus, and let's expand this back it, uh, 3 pi over 6. Add 10 pi over 6 equals 2k plus 1 times 3 pi over 6, okay, where we know that k is an is a integer. Okay, so let's get rid of the 6 and get rid of the pi as well. So that leaves us with 5n plus 2 minus 3 add 10 equals, uh, let's expand the bracket as well, uh, that's 6k add 3. Okay, uh, now let's just uh, get everything to one side. So we actually are left with a very simple equation here. Uh, 5n equals 6k minus 6, i.e. n equals 6k minus 1 over 5. And basically we're almost there now. So we have our n 
uh, as being 6k minus 1 over 5, where k is, a, is an integer. And all we need to do now is just plonk in various values of k until we get um, this expression here to be an integer. So obviously if we put k equals 1 in, uh, well then that the, the value of n is 0, and we know that n is a positive integer, so we can't use k equals 1. k equals 2 would give us... Uh, um, 6 uh, times 1 over 5, it's just not an integer. So we keep adding up. In actual fact, the first k that we need to put in uh, is k equals 6. When k equals 6, it's 6 times 5 over 5, which is then n would be equal to 6 as well. Uh, the next k that we put in will be k equals 11. And when we put that in, we get 60 over 5, which means that n would be equal to 12. That's just a little bit more space. And then when we put in k equals um the third one, which would be k equals 16, uh, then that'd be 6 times 15 over 5, uh, which would be 90 over 5, which would be 18. So our basically our values of n are 6, 12, 18, and in actual fact it carries on down uh, ad infinitum, where n equals 6p, p contained in the positive integers. And, and that is actually our answer to for what positive integers n is that expression here imaginary? It is imaginary when n equals 6p, p contained in the positive integers, i.e. n equals 6, 12, 18, 24, etc., etc., etc.